the myth is real in terms of girls' schools haven't been as successful in raising money as the boys' schools. But it's not because they can't, it's because they haven't asked. When I joined Wrighton, I thought we need to run a charity appeal. So we went for it. A success of any campaign is all in the preparation. And charity provided us with, with every bit of information that we needed, kind of like a cheat sheet. They'll work closely with you to make sure you're gonna be successful. Setting a goal at $280,000 from a base where we normally only raise 70,000 was huge. The difficulty we had was, will this be a success? This is a huge goal for Wright and we've never raised that much before. In our charity appeal, which was fantastic, the chair of our foundation spent all day on the phone to people. The matching donors, a few of them were overseas at the time, so couldn't participate on the actual day. But I was getting messages from them all day saying, I'm in London and I'm watching this and this is amazing and I'm so glad to be a part of it. It was a community effort. Our goal was $280,000. We raised $381,000. No one could believe it, it was, it was amazing. I had a few potential matching donors who chose not to participate and since then have said to me, I'll be a part of it next year. We walked away from the charity appeal, really bringing the community together for one cause. We, we did it, we're a girls' school and we showed them that we can do that. What I love about charity is that they don't take on a campaign they don't think is going to be successful. If another school was contemplating working with charity, I'd say what's your hesitation?